In the United States, the first case of coronavirus was confirmed on January 21st, 2020. Dr. Burke said millennials are the key to stopping its spread. I want to speak particularly to our largest generation now, our millennials. They are the core group that will stop this virus. They are the group that communicates successfully, independent of picking up a phone. They intuitively know how to contact each other without being in large social gatherings. We're asking all of them to hold their gatherings to under 10 people, not just in bars and restaurants, but in homes. We really want people to be separated at this time. The millennial mindset was dismissive during the debut of COVID-19 and demonstrated a lot of insensitivity. If I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not going to let it stop me from partying. You know, I've been waiting. We've been waiting for Miami spring break for a while. About two months we've had this trip planned. Two, three months. We're just out here having a good time. Whatever happens, happens. Like, it's really messing up with my spring break. What is there to do here other than go to the bars or the beach and they're closing all of it? It's really messing up. I think they're blowing it way out of proportion. I think it's doing way too much. Doing us bad. We need a refund. This virus ain't that serious. It's serious. It's more serious things out there like hunger and poverty. We need to address yes, that. Who's scared of coronavirus? Don't touch your mouth. Till July it sounds like a bunch of bullshit. I'm sorry. But like, it's a virus. I get it. Like, I respect it. But at the same time, like, even if everybody gets it, like, yeah, people are gonna die. Looking back, I wasn't worried about coronavirus at all. I didn't think that it would affect me or my family. I would still go out in public. People were coughing and sneezing didn't really worry me. It was just kind of everyday life for me. I thought the public and the kind of, and the government were kind of overreacting more than they should, or just in general. I was that stupid millennial. I was that guy that was like, I'm fine. I never really get sick. Maybe like once a year I get the flu. To fight it off in a couple of days, I'm back to work. Like I'm totally fine. Um, those people that are immunocompromised, sure, they, they need to stay inside and the elderly and whatnot, but you know, I'm fine, I'm fine. As severity increased across the U.S., many millennials attended CSUN's Big Bash, an annual concert with nearly 4,000 participants, just days before the declaration of a pandemic and the closure of campus. Over time, many millennials have changed their outlook on coronavirus. Some issued public apologies. What made me personally take it more seriously was the first one being my mom laid off. In 20 something years, I never thought that, that would happen to my mom. Uh, neither did she. Uh, I never thought she'd have to file for unemployment. Uh, the second one was school, schools and businesses being closed down across the board. Just everywhere it was a big big eye opener for me i wasn't used to not seeing schools open for unless it was spring break summer vacation or winter vacation or things like that uh the mask regulations was also a big one because it was just kind of something you're not used to wearing or having on your body at all times it was just kind of like oh things are being serious as well as um the, the most common one or the most the, what you would think would be the most biggest eye opener which is the number of hospitalizations and deaths i remember vividly seeing one day deaths being at about 94,000 here in the U.S. and immediately it just jumps up to uh, over 100,000 in a matter of a few uh, days. And it was just kind of insane to hear that over something that just came out a few months ago, a couple months ago. Or so. You know, something that I'm very attuned to is music festivals. So when Ultra Music Festival in Florida started shutting down and South by Southwest in Austin, and then finally making its way to Coachella, which was supposed to be today, um, and then postponing all the way to October, it's like, okay, this is something bigger than just, you know, oh yeah, it's the flu, which I know I was saying originally. Millennials have started to take COVID-19 more seriously, but even though millennials are the largest generation, stopping COVID-19 is a community effort. 